Hi, welcome to Auntie Nets Crochet. Thank you for choosing this video. Allow me to teach you how to play with yarn. Do subscribe to my channel. The subscribe button is at this corner over here. And uh, do check out my other videos too. They are all as uh, informative and fun to learn as this video. And today I'm going to make a hat. Uh, a hat with a bow at the back. And I'm using this yarn. So happen I found this yarn and I find that the color is just lovely for a hat. And it's actually a... Um, eight ply yarn and for this hat I'm going to use a 5mm hook and uh, the size of your hat and how many rows you have to do it depends on your yarn type and your hook size but later I'll tell you it's best that you measure your the measure your circumference and measure the diameter of that the top part of the hat and the rest is just easy because you could be making it for a child or an adult and the type of yarn you use could be different from mine okay now let's start okay we're gonna start by making a magic circle you put it around your finger make a cross here turn to the back grab the yarn at the back and make a knot and you will have a magic circle so inside this magic circle we're gonna do six single crochet. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, four, six, okay. And you pull this tight. And you have something like this. And I am not going to slip stitch because I do not want that slip stitch line. So I'm just going to continue to do uh, what you call it all in a round. You just continue to do in a circle and you won't see that line there. So now the next row. This is the first row. And let me rephrase that just in case you're a beginner. So now, go to the first stitch. If you do not know where is the first stitch, you count back this V-shape here. This is the first stitch. And look at the V-shape. You go to this first stitch and do an increase. So at the same time, hide this tail along because this is going to be a head. So it's not, an, it's not a toy where you can hide this inside a toy. So this is a head. I'm going to hide it along. So do increase, increase means two single crochet into the same stitch and I will add a marker just to remind myself where is my starting point. You can add your marker at the start or at the end of the row depending. So I normally put on the first stitch. So increase, you're going to do two single crochet in every row. Ah, uh, sorry, not every row, <laughs> every stitch. Sometimes when I'm concentrating, the words just comes out wrong. <sighs> Forgive me. So I'm gonna do two single crochet in every stitch. And um, just now we started with, we started with six single crochet. Now we're doing increase. So which means this row, we're going to have 12 stitches. So for beginners, you can, I mean, if you're not sure, you can count back. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. This, this count as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this is the second row. We have completed the second row. And now we're going to go to the third row. You can either continue to hide this or you can just uh, cut it off later. So now I'm going to go to the next stitch and do an, a single crochet. 
I'm gonna add a marker. This is my starting point. So I did one single crochet here, and the next one I'm going to do an increase. Increase means two single crochet into the same stitch. So you're gonna do one single crochet and you're gonna do one increase. One single crochet and one increase. One single crochet, one increase all the way. In this row you should have 18 stitches so since this yarn is multicolor so it will turn out very nice you don't have to change color you don't have to change yarn as for this one here and you see that when you cut you cut you make sure it goes way down then you cut it off and you won't see anything And now let's go to the next row next row is going to be row four row four you're going to do one single crochet don't forget to add your marker and i'm going to do increase two single crochet into the same stitch is called an increase so this is one increase and this is one single crochet so you're going to do one single crochet, increase, one single crochet. Then again, one single crochet, increase, one single crochet. So this is one set. You're going to do six sets. And by the time you come back here, you should have uh, 24 stitches. Okay, now for beginners, if you want to know, let's say you lost track, you are at which row, you can either count this or you count the number of stitches. Here, you count, if you look at this... Uh, marker you can see this circle this is one two three and this is the fourth circle if you count over this side it's only one two three so it's always this side so this is the fourth uh, row or you can count number of stitches here i should have 24 2 4 6 8 10 2 4 6 8 10 i have 24 stitches and 24 stitches is row four and now we're going to go to row 5. Row 5, we're going to do single crochet in the next three. 1, 2, 3. And we're going to do increase. Increase means two single crochet into the same stitch. So you're gonna do one, two, three, increase, one, two, three, increase, and you should have six sets. And by the time you come back here, you should have 30 stitches. And you do not pull too tight so that when you leave it on flat surface, it should be flat. It should not like kind of bulge out. It should be flat. If it Bulge up means you pull too tight. Okay, now for row six, I'm going to do single crochet in the next two. This is one single crochet. And add a marker. This is two single crochet, and you do an increase. And another single crochet in the next two. So you do single crochet, single crochet, increase, single crochet, single crochet, 
and you do six sets this is one set I'm gonna do six sets of it and by the time you come back here you should have 36 stitches okay now row seven I'm going to do single crochet in the next three let me add my marker one two three and increase increase means two single crochet into the same stitch and then one two two single crochet so here i have three increase and two so you should have six sets of it and by the time you come back here you should have 42 stitches okay now next row row eight Row 8, I'm going to do 6 single crochet followed by an increase. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and you do an increase six increase six increase you do six sets and by the time you come back here you should have 48 stitches again okay, for row nine i'm going to start with uh, single crochet in the next four so this is one two three four and you do increase and then one two three so here four increase three then again four increase three so by the time this is one set and by the time we come back here you should have six sets and you should have 40 uh, sorry 54 stitches in this row 9 okay now row 10 i'm going to do eight single crochet one wait let me add my marker two three four five six seven eight sorry eight <laughs> I get overboard one two three four five six seven eight so after eight single crochet do an increase increase means two single crochet into the same stitch so a increase this is one set and you're going to do six sets and by the time you come back here you should have 60 stitches okay now row 11 i'm going to do five single crochet one Two, three, four, five. Then I'm going to do increase. Increase means two single crochet into the same stitch, and you're gonna do four single crochet. So this is four increase and sorry this is five single crochet increase and this is four so this is one set you're gonna do six sets and by the time you come back here you should have 66 stitches okay uh, if you're doing this uh, for a child or whoever adult 
you first measure your I should have told you this early on sorry you should uh, you measure your head your circumference means from here until here the head here and see what's your circumference so the whole thing here and you divided it with 3.14 so for example my head is uh, 22 mine is 22 inches so by the time I divide it by uh, 3.14 mine is 7 inches so which means from here until here I should have 7 inches so I still need 1 inch more maybe 2 more rolls I'm not sure maybe so normally 7 or 8 it's the ideal size for a adult but mine is seven so I'm gonna go for seven so now I'm gonna do two more row and see if I can reach seven okay this is row ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven sorry row eleven so now I'm going to go to row twelve Row 12, I'm going to do 9, single crochet. Sorry, I'm going to do 10. 10, single crochet, followed by an increase. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and do an increase. Two, four, six, eight, ten, increase. And you do six sets of it. And by the time you come back here, you should have uh, 72 stitches. Okay, now row 13. I'm going to start with 6 single crochet. One, two, three, four. Six, and I'm going to do increase and I am going to do single crochet in the next five so here I have six single crochet one increase five single crochet this is one set so you're going to do two three four five six sets of this and by the time you come back here you should have 78 stitches okay, now i've reached uh, seven one two almost seven okay for those who want to know this seven is actually seven inches this is 7 inches and uh, if you want to know it's in centimeter 7 inches should be around 18 cm around 18 cm 7 and this is inches cm okay 7 is 18 cm so I've reached 7 because I use my circumference and divide by 3.14 and I got 7 so 7 is the diameter this is called the diameter from here to here okay so now this should be the length the ideal length for my head so now I'm going to do single crochet all around I am not going to do on a back loop or a front loop I'm just doing single crochet all around I'm just gonna add my marker here and 
there won't be any increase and for how many rows you do until because as that when you do single crochet all around it will kind of slant this way going down and you do until to the point that you wear it on your head it should touch your ear the minute it touches your ear is the time when we stop and we will start to do the brim so as for now you just do single crochet all around no increase no no decrease so you should have 78 stitches all around every row so I'll come back to you once I come to the length that I want okay I've come to the length that I want this is the length this is uh, when I put on my head this part touch my ear so once it touches your ear here means this is the length that you should go the maximum length that you should go so once you reach this length you this is my starting point I mean this is my first stitch just now my first stitch here so this is the last stitch so on the last stitch here I did a chain 48 I'll tell you later why I put a marker here so here I did a chain 48 so when you connect this to the first one make sure this do not twist so my last row I have uh, a total number of 78 stitches that is row 13 and uh, depending on how many rows you have so mine is all in a multiple of 12 so or you can call it a multiple of 6 so I have a row of 78 on row 13 and here I make uh, 48 stitches so 48 plus 78 I have 126 so this row now I'm going to do an increase because every row we did only six increase because everything every row we do six sets so six increase so same here I'm going to do six increase as well so you count your number of stitches on your last row plus this 48 and you divide by six so after I divide by six I should get 21 21 stitches which means every 20 stitches I'm going to make an increase on the 21 stitch so meaning from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 until here this is 20 this is 20 sorry and this is 21 so from here until here I'm gonna do single crochet and this last one I'm going to do an increase so this is the next one this is the next stitch I'm gonna start again here until here I'm gonna do single crochet and the last one here I'm gonna do increase and I also add my marker here we're gonna do on the hum side on the bum side so that I know I have six sets all in one two three four five six I have six sets so now <coughs> I'm gonna join this make sure it's not twisted make sure it faces the right way okay make sure this is the right way it's not twisted in any way then hold your yarn go to the next stitch this is the last stitch this is the first stitch go to the first stitch and do a single crochet so if you want you can add a marker but this is our starting point so I don't need a marker as it now then I do this is already one so this is my two three four five six seven eight nine ten sorry for the screeching sound from the marker eleven twelve 
thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh, okay. My marker marks the deep increase uh, stitch. Okay, you just remember where your marker is. Okay, this is the increase. So from here to here is 20 stitches and a marker is an increase. And when you reach here, we are going to do on the hump side. Meaning this is, you will see that there's two strands here. This is the front loop. This is the back loop. We're going to turn it and do on the bump side here. So when you reach here, you turn it to the bump side and start counting, doing single crochet here on the bump side. So for me, in my case, every marker is my increased spot. You can do it the other way around. Uh, it's up to you. If you do not want to add marker, it's fine. You can just count your way. So first row, I'm not. I'm going to do increase. The subsequent row, there'll be no increase. And then the third row, there'll be another increase. And then fourth row, no increase. So it's alternate increase, no increase, increase, no increase. So I'll come back to you halfway and show you how it looks like. So when you increase and don't increase, then of course here, we increase this row with 20, 20 single crochet before we do an increase. So the next row, there's no increase, just single crochet all around. That means the following row is going to be 21 stitches before you do an increase. You just add one more. Okay. So now I'll come back to you once I'm on a few rows ahead. Then I'll show you, or maybe I'll come back here, I'll show you how I'm going to do on the hum side, on the bum side. Okay, now the critical part here. I just reach here, this line here. My last increase is here, if you can see, there's two single crochet in this hole here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And don't forget this stitch here, 16. And now we turn to the hum. This is the back loop and the front loop. You turn it to the back. You can see this four hum here. So I have 16 stitches just now. So I should go through this. 17, 18, 19. Wait. Here. <laughs> Hidden one. <laughs> 17, 18, 19, 20. So 21 is the, in, is the increased part. So this is not going to be easy. But make sure you do not miss this stitch that's why before you start you should add your marker even though you have add your marker especially this part here you should count your number of stitches if this row is different the following row will be different so this is one i should have four this is my second one after this row is going to be easy this is the bum side it's a bit difficult because it's too tight just now three and four And my marker always mark the increase, increase uh, stitch. So again, just for, just to make sure, <laughs> this is the increase. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I have 20. So when I remove this marker, the marker here, I'm going to do an increase. Increase means two single crochet into that same stitch. 
then again on the hum side here here you make sure from here until here you should have 20 and this one is your 21 and from here until here is your 20 your 21 should be the one still on this this strand here this should be a 21 the last stitch not on the head but on this strand the last stitch here should be a 21 then once you reach here you do one more round of single crochet all around with no increase so this will always be our first stitch in case you want to add a marker this will be your first stitch so I'll come back to you once I have two rows of this that's mean one row of increase and another row of single crochet all around and that will be the starting point of the brim okay this is how it look like two rows one row with increase the second row without no increase and make sure you have the correct number of stitches if not here you might miss this last stitch and it will it won't look nice so you just count your number of stitches so the next row same thing this is my starting point so i'm gonna if, i mean if you're a beginner if you want you can actually add marker like this all around so that you know when is your increase so you should have six sets here one two three four and five and six so again i'm going to do increase and another row of no increase so this row i did uh, 20 stitches before i do my increase so this coming one this new one i'm going to do 21 stitches followed by an increase so everything i'm going to divide by six so you're going to have six sets so every time when i increase it's just six sets so i'll come back to you once i come to the length and i'll tell you how many rows of increase and no increase that i did so you just continue like this one row increase one row no increase one row increase one row no increase until you get the brim i'll come back to you once i'm at about this length yeah just show you that uh, i ran out of yarn so this is how i'm gonna change yarn this is quite a thick yarn so you yarn over i mean here you have two loops on your hook you go grab your new yarn put through oops okay put through and you pull this because this is going to open up a bit put through and you just continue to crochet and make sure you hide this tail along and here you won't be able to see this tail and make sure it's a uh, slightly longer so they have more to hide and chances of it coming off is slimmer that's my way <laughs> and i come back to you once i show you how what's the length you know how how it look like i truly love this color it's so sweet such a sweet color and now i've come to the end here i'll show you how long i did this it's uh, about 8 cm plus minus it's a bit more so it depends on it's eight yeah eight so it depends on what kind of yarn or hook you use so your number of rows might be different from mine so i did one row increase one row no increase one row increase one row no increase 
so all in my last increase was um 25 single crochet before i do an increase so this is how it looked like so now the end here this is the last stitch pull this over you can use a tapestry needle we go to the next stitch here go over next stitch and you come back to the front to this stitch here you see you can go through all this you kind of lock it Because the last one was an increase, so it's kind of like bulge up a bit. And the rest you just hide it along. Just hide along all this. And you can cut the yarn if you want. So long most of it are hidden. And it won't come off. You can cut it off if you want, or you can just continue hiding it. And now, to make the bow here, I need a, a part where I need to hold the bow. So I'm going to do a chain 7. Okay, this is just my habit of making a knot. So I'm going to chain 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7, yep, it should be around 7. And I'm going to turn back. You can do it on the bum side or you can do it here. It's okay. It doesn't really matter. But I prefer to do it on the bum side so that when I stitch, it's easier. I just up to you. It's okay. So here I'm going to do single crochet to the end. So 7, when I turn, I should have 6 stitches, so I have to make sure every row, I'm going to have 6 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. okay, 6 stitches. Same thing, you're going to chain one, turn your work, and continue to do six single crochet. And later I'll come back to you and show you how long I made, what's the length of this, this piece of rectangle. So you just do through and fro, through and fro. Okay, if you want to know how long you should do this, here, because it depends on the type of yarn and your hook size and see how thick is this, you fold this into half, make sure you get the midpoint, the midpoint here you do something like this. So you make sure you know this is the midpoint. And you bring this over and see if you can cover the whole thing. If you can cover, means this is the correct length. If you can't cover, means you have to do longer. So here, I'm going to leave a long tail. Just let me just 
chain one and pull the tail over and get a tapestry needle okay let me do that again just in case okay this is the midpoint I make sure my finger is at the midpoint and pouch it up here like this and my finger here this is the midpoint and I am going to sew it at the back let me just hold it to the back and oops oh okay went to the wrong spot <laughs> okay hold it tight make one stitch first hide this tail later on this this tail hide it later on oops sorry it should be here okay you make one stitch first and you take a look and see if this is the right thing and this is the right spot and you continue to sew in fact here you can make one or two stitch to hold it in place so I'll come back to you once I have this nicely stitched okay I've attached this nicely I make sure this is at the back so then in case if I does not stitch properly or nicely it doesn't show and now we're gonna sew it here all you have to do is push it to the back okay, let me let me just okay like this you still have that yarn with you you just push it to the back and see where is your yarn and just sew it on to the hat let me move this more to the middle <laughs> so that i can make one stitch in the middle before i start sewing okay so here you just push it back to the hat the hat part here make sure your bowl is nice then you make a stitch you just try with one stitch and after that one stitch take a look at it is this how it should be and then you make a few stitches this is how the final product look like i think this color is just gorgeous for this type of hat so i hope you have fun making one of these hats do subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next post.